This is the Blue Streak Equipment Theta RE Series Magnetic Sweeper Assembly video. Uh, the first step in this is uh, we're going to get the, we're going to put the small three-inch wheels and we're going to attach them to the aluminum side plates. So what you do is you get your three-inch wheels. You want to make a left and a right assembly, so I'm just going to lay it out like that. You get the two three-eighths bolts that came with your uh, sweeper and the nuts, and you simply put the bolt through the wheel plate, through the wheel, put the nut on. Repeat for the opposite side. And then you can go ahead and tighten up those nuts using two uh, 916 wrenches. And these bolts, you can go ahead and tighten them up. When you tighten this bolt, it won't affect the bearing because these little plastic pieces push on each other inside the ball bearing. So I'll tighten up the other side. Okay, now step one's done. Move on to step two, which we're going to attach the Y handles the lower Y handle arms, which are these two pieces here. You notice at the bottom of the arms, there's a different pitch in the, in the holes. There's a small pitch and a big pitch. You want to attach the small pitch to these parts here. We're going to make a left and a right hand assembly again. So what we'll do is we'll get our nut or bolt for this one, which will be the uh, one and a half inch long bolt, a washer, another washer and a nut and through the bottom hole in the handle we'll insert the bolt through you want to make sure the curves coming inwards and then we'll insert that hole in the uh, hole that's closest to the square hole just like so then we'll put a nut on and that's as far as we're going to tighten that up so we've got that side then we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble this the opposite way So we'll take our nut and bolt, we'll put it through the handle. We'll insert this in the hole that's closest to the square hole. Go ahead and put a nut on. And that's as tight as we're going to make that. We don't want to tighten that up at all at this point. And you can see what we've got here is we've got a right on the left where the sweep, the handles are coming inwards. So you've got your handle, your outside plate, then a wheel, a wheel, your outside plate, and then a handle. Now we'll move on to step three, which is putting together the, uh, the magnet assembly. And the magnet assembly consists of the thin plastic drum that you got in your box. The magnet assembly itself, you slide that in the tube. The two five inch wheels. Now you notice these five inch wheels have a groove cut on one side of them. You can see the groove on this side. That side doesn't have the groove, so you want to put these on the axle so that the groove's going to go plug into the end of this tube right here. So we'll just slide those over the axle. And then you're going to have to fight with them a little bit because they're tight. You want to press those wheels on so you can see that these fins are actually touching that the gray rubber of that wheel. If those fins aren't touching the gray rubber, something's wrong. You don't have it engaged all the way. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that for the opposite side. Now this magnet's always going to have a tendency in the natural position just because of its weight to stay in the bottom and that's where you want it. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the other wheel on so that the groove's on the inside. And we'll go ahead and we'll push that wheel on also so that you can see that the uh, fins are pushing into the rubber wheel. And when we tighten up this whole assembly, these wheels are actually going to, I don't know if you can see it, they're actually going to push into those fins and that's what's going to grab these wheels so that the wheels turn properly with your sweeper. So we're going to move on to the next step. Oops, sorry. Also what we're going to do is we're going to slide one of these little aluminum sh shaft collars 
on each end. And when you slide those on, they'll be a little bit less than a quarter inch from the end of the collar to the end of the shaft. Same as on the other end there. Now, we'll move on to the next step, which is step four, which is we're going to attach this assembly to these end plates. Now, how that's done, right now I've got this magnet in the position so that there's a dot on the bottom of here. You probably can't see at the camera, but right now the magnet's in the very bottom. And if you look at the diagram that, uh, that comes with your sweeper right here, it shows you that when this magnet is assembled, it's really hard to get it in the wrong position just because you physically got to be able to turn all the weight. But right now the magnet's in the bottom right down here. You can't have it in this position, in this position, or in this position. And in relationship of these fins to this aluminum plate here that goes on the end, each of these fins, each one of these plates will go on so that the wheels are on the same side of the plate. And these fins right now, when they come over the top, they've got to be pointing forwards towards you. So if I was to take this and spin it around this way, and then go ahead and attach it, I could get my magnet assembly would be in the right position because it's still on the bottom, but my fins are pointing the wrong way, which is wrong. So you want to turn that around. And then now that your fins are pointing the proper direction in relationship to this, so they're coming off the front towards you, and you want to go ahead and you want to line that square shaft up so it's at the bottom most part of this hole and you'll be able to line up the dots that you can't see in the camera also because I physically don't have them on this model that we're assembling for the video so what you do is you go ahead and you just slide that on that square shaft rotate the handle back take your uh, let's see what side bolt is that it's an inch and a quarter long quarter inch bolt with a washer on it and you put it through and you can start threading that into that hole on the end of the, uh, the end of that square steel shaft. Now I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get the proper socket. I'll be back in one second. So I'll go ahead and uh, just tighten that up a little bit. You want to make sure you still got some some movement in there, which like that, which is good. And then we'll go ahead and install the ups the other side. Now I'll turn it all the way around so the fins are pointing away from me. And what you want to do? I don't know if I can try to get the best angle for you there. Have to. Once you get that on that shaft just like that, then we'll go ahead and we'll put the other bolt in. Remember not to tighten that up all the way yet. Now that for the next step, which is step five, we're going to attach the upper Y handle arm, which is this piece right here. You want the grip so that it's pointing down. We'll use two quarter inch bolts with a washer on them. And a nut. And don't tighten these bolts up yet until after the next step. And then we'll move on to step six, 
which is the, uh, the sleeved tray supports, which are these aluminum dowels. There's two of them the same diameter. These simply go in the front of the tray. They're installed into these two positions here, into these two holes. So what you do is the sweeper that you receive will probably have the plastic along the entire length of this. Um, this bolt just goes into this hole and into the end of that, the tapped hole and the end of those uh, aluminum rods. Same for the front. And then I'll go put the bolts on the other side. Now, once you've got those bolts started, you can go ahead and tighten all of the bolts that you've put in so far. So first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll tighten up this upper Y handle. And then I'll just do one, one side of the sweeper then the other. So I'll put my wrench down in the side here to hold the nut on the inside of the bottom of the Y handle. Tighten that up firmly. I'll tighten the top nut up firmly. Then I'll go ahead and I'll just hold these aluminum rods with my finger. Tighten those firmly. that one then we'll go over to the other side and we'll repeat those operations I'll turn this whole sweeper around so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this top bolt first and as you're tightening this up you'll see that these fins on this uh, These fins are starting to press into the rubber on this wheel, which is what you want to happen because that's going to engage that so that it drives properly. And then we'll go ahead and tighten up the bottom nut. Tighten that up firmly. And then you can go ahead and finish off these two uh, sleeve tray supports. And after, uh, after that's tight, then we'll put the front bar on the tray here. Just your remaining couple parts here. The bolt with a washer on it. And then you can just go ahead and tighten those up. Tighten up firmly, you can go ahead and set your tray in your sweeper. And that's the end of the uh, Theta Series assembly video.